Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Virgo, here's the situation. We have uh, the Queen of Swords clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. And we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could have been dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or a Taurus or pretty much any sign. Well, as you know, Virgo, I never sugarcoat my readings, and I think this Queen of Swords, the first card I came out, that was your competition. I don't know if you were aware that you have competition or not, but this Queen of Swords came in and uh, they won. This person basically won, right? They got the person you were hoping to be with, or they took the, your person away from you. Um, or something among those lines. I think the Magician on the bottom of the deck, that is also them, that Queen of Swords. The Magician uh, knows that he or she's got all the tools they need at their disposal and uh, they're using those tools. So I think this Queen of Swords uh, took the initiative, they were really quick on their feet uh, and they basically threw everything they've got at the person you were with or you were hoping to be with. And they won, you know. The Queen of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, so the Ace of Pentacles is a very serious offer, so that's what uh, the Queen of Swords offered to the person both of you were dealing with at some point, right? Uh, the Ace of Pentacles could come through as a proposal, but I think in this case, the Ace of Pentacles, like I said, they basically did everything they could to get your person. They were all over them, they promised them everything, they showed dedication. Like I said with the Magician, they used every single tool, all the tricks they had up their sleeve. Uh, they were really dedicated, they just, you know, they just came in and uh, they did everything necessary to win your person over, the, the one you were with or the one you were hoping to be with. And the Hierophant right there in the middle, the Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, so your person could have been a Taurus. But if we want to stay general, then the Hierophant is about something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. So the Queen of Swords ended up in a commitment with uh, your person, right? And uh, the, the Five of Cups clarified by the Nine of Pentacles and uh, the Nine of Swords, I think that's your energy right there, Virgo. So now you are sad, you've got regrets, and uh, you're single. Right, so the Five of Cups, this is a card of somebody who's grieving, somebody who's got regrets. Perhaps you have regrets that you didn't um, sort of move towards this person quicker, or you have regrets that you ever wasted your time on that person because they so quickly um, got away from you and they decided to move forward with this Queen of Swords. Perhaps you put a lot of effort, energy into that and uh, it was all for nothing. You basically wasted your time on them. The Nine of Pentacles, this is a card of a single person, and the Nine of Swords clarifying uh, the Five of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. This is you, sad and depressed, unfortunately. Right? So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the advice spread just in case. Here's the advice spread for you, Virgo. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, there is a couple of ways this spread can be interpreted, but I'll concentrate on just one of them. And uh, in that scenario, this is you basically cutting the cord and uh, walking away, forgetting about that person. It's going to be um, easier said than done, but... Um, yeah, that's what you need to do. The Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is um, your energy. This is you broken hearted, feeling devastated, feeling betrayed. Um, the Ace of Swords, the first card I came out with the Five of Swords right next to it. I think this is you basically needing to cut this person out and move on. Move on, Virgo. The Will of Fortune um, right next to the deck. This is the start of a new cycle, right? It could be a start of a new cycle just you being by yourself for now, or it could be a start of a new cycle with another person, a new person who will come towards you in the near future. 
right? But uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spread. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's gonna be painful, but yeah, that's what I see here with the the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords. All right, so we are we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three is New Love coming towards you in September. Virgo, here's spread number three. This is uh, New Love coming towards you in September. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the King on once and uh, the Chariot, and we also have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Cancer. So the Five of Swords, the first card that came out, uh, this is a repeat card, but uh, this is a different deck. Um, I use different decks for different spreads. Uh, the Five of Swords, I think this is you basically severing ties with uh, that other person we saw in the first two spreads, right? And um, the Three of Cups, the next card that came out, perhaps you will be going to some kind of an event or a party or a gathering or a union, right? And that's where you could meet this person, this new person. I do believe this is new, right? It feels fresh, <laughs> right? Um, so the next card that came out is the Page of Cups and is clarified by the King of Wands and uh, the Chariot. The Page of Cups, it could be them literally buying you a drink or offering you a drink or this is them uh, starting a conversation with you. A very uh, light-hearted, very nice, very pleasant conversation. The Page of Cups is uh, about emotions, about um, you know, just being super nice to each other. Perhaps they'll tell you all kinds of compliments and uh, you know, the two of you could potentially hit it off. Um, the Page of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands and the Chariot. The King of Wands is the person you'll be dealing with, this new person. Um, it could be a fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, or this is somebody who is very fiery, very passionate, somebody who is easy to get up and go, right? This person could be uh, someone who stands out of the crowd, right? And uh, the King of Wands with the Page of Cups are clarified by the Chariot. The Chariot is the person who counts a card. Uh, but I think on this spread, the chariot is all about moving forward. I think it will um, go. F I think it will move forward very quickly. The chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. I think this person will resonate with you, um, even though you are an earth sign, they're a fire sign. But uh, I think you will find a lot of things in common. That's what I feel here with the chariot card. Because, uh, like I said, the chariot is all about moving forward. And we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That is you, Virgo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, I really like the fact that both of you came out on the King and the Queen level. Granted, you're different, as I was mentioning a few seconds ago. But, like I said, you're vibing on a very similar level, the King and the Queen um, level. So that means the two of your equals. The two of you will have, like I said, a, a, quite a few things in common. You'll have common goals. You're two adults. You think like adults. You act, act like adults. And uh, the two of you have a, a really good chance of getting this on the road with the chariot card. Some of them, some of you guys could literally travel together with this person. Perhaps they will offer you to give you a ride. Or the chariot could be the two of you traveling together at some point in the near future. So yeah, this looks very promising, um, Virgo. Alright, so that's what I got for you for this spread, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Virgo, have an amazing September. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.